Tonight, Boston buried under a historic blizzard, whiteout conditions, fierce winds, and crushing waves along the coast. Neighborhoods quickly going underwater. The streets officially flooded. In Nantucket, residents pulled out a canoe as streets turned into rivers. It's been a very long storm. We're not quite out of the woods on it yet. Plunging temperatures and climbing snow totals made the cleanup more difficult. Crews struggled to stay ahead of the pileups. We can't see anyone, can't see pedestrians, can't see people. Everybody wants Dunkin' Donuts. By midday, the weather went from bad to worse. The snow's falling so heavily, uh, it's a little hard to see. Drivers urged to stay home as travel took a treacherous turn. The storm so intense, hundreds of flights canceled today and tomorrow at Boston Logan International. I just came in from the Azores. Uh, flight was canceled for Cleveland. Can't get any until Sunday evening or Monday morning. The airport reporting nearly a foot of snow by noon. The visibility is so low, it's yeah. really dangerous to be out. We're heading right back. Yeah. Some spots even reporting roughly three to four inches of snowfall per hour. The storm has been relentless. When we get hit with these heavy bands of snow, wind gusts are registering at 40 to 50 miles per hour. That number closer to a stunning 90 miles per hour for portions of Cape Cod, fueling monster waves. The powerful winds also knocking out power to more than 100,000 customers. Tonight, Massachusetts taking a direct hit and now looking at days of digging out. And Kathy joins us live from Boston, where Kathy, they're still in the middle of blizzard conditions. Jose, that's right. We are still in the thick of the storm. Wind gusts of up to 35 miles per hour will persist over the next couple of hours. There's already 17 inches of snow here in Boston. And when the storm finally pulls out, we're looking at an additional three to six inches of snow. Jose. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.